As the death toll rises in the Gaza crisis, the FAA ban on flights is extended for at least another 24 hours. The FAA taking the action after a rocket landed near the airport in Tel Aviv earlier this week. Secretary of State John Kerry flew into Israel despite the ban in an effort to negotiate a ceasefire. The conflict hits home for one Overland Park family. KBC Nine's Brian Johnson reports on a family caught in the crisis. Brian, yeah, take a look at the list. No flights in or out from the U.S. and many international flights are canceled. But for Shira Bernard, who has been there now for two weeks, she is caught in the middle of this, and now all she can do is pray for peace and move forward with her research. For Shira Bernard, going to a bomb shelter three times a day is not out of the ordinary. She's a part of every. Day life that people have to cope with. Like, you don't really have another option. That's because the Overland Park native is studying abroad in Israel, about 40 miles north of Gaza. It's a war zone. Missile launches and bombs interrupt science experiments, dinners, sleep, even Skyping with mom. I'm going to go to bed now. Okay, bye. We have to close out the bye. It's just kind of scary. Like, I'll check up with her and see what's happening. If there's a missile going in the same vicinity, I get scared. But when she can Skype, it's nice to see loved ones. See how she lit up. Wait, she really cares about Rufus. Including her dog. There are moments of levity that can cut through the tension. This app pretty much tells you what tells you what there is to know. For mom, an iPhone app warns of incoming missiles. And it stops at at, at a certain number of screens because there's so many rockets going off. The app wakes Shira up at night so she can get to a shelter within 90 seconds. There have been some close calls. Grocery store, and we were actually like sprinting for the bomb shelter, and then we could count how many um, like missiles had been intercepted. Her mom is grateful for the Iron Dome that keeps her safe. I still, all in all, think um, it's in the hands of God, and um, so keep the prayers coming. And Lisa Bernard says it's a miracle more people have not been killed. She hopes, though, that by the time Shira's study abroad finishes on August 14th, everything will be calmed down and peaceful there.